Voyager 2 has been quietly navigating the vast, unexplored region outside of our solar system for decades. Earth's echoes are being carried into interplanetary space by a small human envoy, with the exception of its companion Voyager 1. It has traveled farther than any other man-made object since its 1977 launch. However, the spaceship has now issued what seems to be one last terrifying signal after almost 50 years of exploration. The scientific community is in a state of startled speculation as a result of this message. For further updates, use the like and subscribe buttons before we begin. Unexpectedly, a short but distinct signal broke through the silent emptiness of space communication. Voyager 2's consistent heartbeat had been being observed by engineers at NASA's Deep Space Network. The spacecraft's continued survival was confirmed by a faint but consistent pulse of data. The pattern abruptly changed. A strange stream of data packets, twisted in structure but purposeful in pattern, replaced a blast of static. It was neither the expected energy decrease nor the typical telemetry. It was unique, intricate, unpredictable, and disturbingly deliberate. The crew initially thought it was a system error. Voyager 2 is, after all, powered by antiquated technology that was groundbreaking in the 1970s but primitive by today's standards. Its software wasn't designed to deal with unexpected circumstances in deep interstellar space. However, it became clear that this was more than just a technical issue as engineers dug into the signal's architecture. There were indicators of an organized source in the data. Prime number sequences were used to group the bits. Fibonacci patterns were mirrored by varying signal levels. And data bursts correlated with precise cosmic radiation occurrences that occurred within milliseconds. It seemed as though the spacecraft, with its wrecked instrumentation and inadequate power source, was trying to make statement, and it was unlike from anything it had ever sent. This has significant ramifications. The helipause, the border zone where the interstellar medium stops the solar wind, is where Voyager 2 has been floating for years. This region, which is a sort of cosmic no-man's land where solar and galactic forces collide, is not entirely understood. There has long been a suspicion among scientists that this area may be more dynamic than previously thought. It appears from the last broadcast that Voyager 2 has either come into contact with something or been impacted by something that fundamentally changed its behavior. This goes beyond a dwindling battery or a waning signal. It's an occasion. The dramatic departure from Voyager's usual patterns was startling to many who have worked closely with the spacecraft over the decades. Shortly after the transmission, the telemetry completely halted, leaving a blank where the faint sounds of a spacecraft gallantly venturing into the unknown had once been heard. This quiet combined with the mysterious last signal produced a disturbing story, a message that might never be deciphered from a machine that may now be lost to the never-ending darkness. Understanding the background of Voyager 2's voyage is crucial to appreciating the significance of this last deed. Operating in a climate colder than any known location to humanity, it has traveled more than 12 billion miles from Earth. Engineers have had to turn off instruments one by one as its nuclear power source has long since started to run out. Nevertheless, it continued to provide groundbreaking insights about the interstellar medium's magnetic fields, plasma waves, and cosmic radiation even in its latter years. For at least a few more years, it was hoped to keep whispering back data. This unexpected, mysterious conclusion was not expected. Another level of interest is added by the timing. The signal was picked up during a time when solar activity was at its highest, when solar flares and coronal mass ejections were more frequent. According to some analysts, Voyager May 2nd have been affected by a strong solar shock wave at the exact moment the communication was sent. However, even that explanation is unable to explain the data structure. Meaningful time correlations and ordered sequences shouldn't arise from random natural interference. Nobody is certain what else is at work. According to one scenario, the spacecraft might have traveled through an area with unusually high energy, maybe some sort of magnetic eddy or a concentrated pocket of cosmic plasma. If this is the case, the effect on its antiquated systems may have been sufficient to trigger a sort of malfunction in artificial intelligence, leading to a last minute desperate message. Although Voyager 2 systems are not meant to learn, they can react to changes in the environment in certain ways. Could there have been intention-like induced behavior in an area of high cosmic activity? 
but do some consider more unusual explanations? Voyager 2's current location in a previously unexplored region of the galaxy raises problems that seem more appropriate for science fiction. What would happen if the spaceship ran into something? Is a presence rather than a phenomenon? Some have theorized contact because of the signal's peculiar structure, intentional patterns, and the sudden quiet that followed. It was a brief encounter between Voyager 2's technology and something far more sophisticated or incomprehensibly foreign, rather than contact in the conventional sense of conversation. Naturally, no genuine scientist makes such rash judgments. However, even the most doubtful of them acknowledge the profound oddity of the signal structure. It is extremely unlikely that random energy bursts will line up with such intentional sequences. Further issues are raised by the fact that Voyager 2 systems, which were already operating at near-zero power and capability, were able to deliver such a structured signal. Was this the last flare from a spark that was created by something else? Or was it the last gasp of a dying machine? It is impossible to overstate the psychological effects of this incident. For a long time, Voyager 2 was more than just a scientific instrument. It represents the desire of humanity to transcend itself. For any intellect that might come into contact with it, it bears a golden record that contains the sounds and visuals of Earth. In light of this mysterious signal, the love gesture that was started decades ago now seems uncannily prescient. Voyager 2 is transformed from a lone traveler into the focal point of a cosmic drama by the notion that something out there may have directly or indirectly replied. The transmission was not followed by any data with its final message dangling in the emptiness like a last sigh. Voyager 2 stays silent by sending specific commands to the spacecraft and waiting for a response. Engineers have tried to get back in touch. Nothing has happened so far. The Deep Space Network keeps watch, anticipating a whisper that might never materialize. In an effort to decipher the potential meaning, cryptographers, astrophysicists, and computer scientists are all examining the preserved data that is currently undergoing extensive study. Discussions over the nature of intelligence and information have been sparked by the transmission structure. Who or what influenced this message? If it was deliberate, was Voyager 2 itself compelled to act outside of its intended programming due to hitherto unheard of environmental factors? Or was it molded by an outside force riding on the spacecraft's systems to convey an irresistible message? Additionally, there's the unnerving possibility that this is only the start of a new form of discovery rather than the conclusion. It begs the issue of what is just out of our line of sight if Voyager 2 discovered something odd. The heliosphere's edge is a threshold. Beyond that, our comprehension becomes increasingly conjectural. The last message from Voyager might provide a sneak peek at things we haven't yet seen. If so, it has accomplished its goal not only to explore, but to warn in a way that no one had expected. The crew members who have dedicated their professional lives to the Voyager mission talk about the ship as if it were living. It has, after all, demonstrated tenacity, flexibility, and durability well beyond its conception. They observed its surviving malfunctions, navigating planetary giants with gravitational assistance, and continuing to transmit over distances so great that it takes more than 18 hours for light to reach it. They now have one last mystery, possibly the biggest, in its stillness. The silence is nearly intolerable in the sterile control rooms where the signal from Voyager 2 used to flicker on screens. In an attempt to identify patterns they might have overlooked, scientists comb through electromagnetic spectra and signal logs. It is still possible that this is a cosmic coincidence, a random interference event with seemingly ordered outcomes. But the more they examine the data, the less likely that seems. The structure of the transmission has not been replicated in any attempt to model it using known variables. There is a tangible feeling that the universe has spoken back to us in a way that requires interpretation rather than in a language we can comprehend. Long regarded as a passive observer, Voyager 2 might have evolved into a conduit for something far bigger than itself. It remains to be seen if that something is a natural aberration, a cosmic power that hasn't been discovered yet or something more speculative, but conjecture has been unleashed. Some have started talking about procedures for handling unanticipated context scenarios, even within the bounds of reasonable scientific investigation. These discussions, 
which are typically theoretical and saved for distant future possibilities, have gained new immediacy. What would happen to future voyages? If Voyager 2 encountered or was impacted by something unprecedented, will similar anomalies be handled by other probes, such as the future interstellar missions in development? Must they? The cosmos is still big, quiet, and maybe even listening. Please subscribe to our channel and like this video if you enjoy it. Additionally, please share your thoughts about Voyager 2's last concerning communication before losing contact in the comments section below. We would want to speak with you. I appreciate you viewing, and I hope to see you again soon.